Okay, so, so as some of you may recall from the last video, we were on the verge of facing the boss having done some initial training to, to boost up our stats to the max. This time round, I have gone a step further in that I actually went back from, I loaded up the previous save, went racing around, trained out the burges more, trained up our fire thing more, so now when we take on that boss, we're not going to make any mistakes. I even have the guy has unlocked his supercharge over the moon thing. So we're going to get to see that boss battle. Right now. Okay, so this lizard thing's got a, it's got a, I'll give it's intimidating. Now I'm going to quickly get the book up just for those who are new to watching this and who haven't seen us use the book before. This is essentially the weaknesses of the creatures. And as we see, it seems to suggest we use our crazy bar guest to knock this thing down to the ground and then we just burn its carcass. And that's how we beat its ass. I'm not too good about the uh, water thing we're stepping into. Or the fact there appears to be the tentacle enemies as well. So we'll go into boss mode and make this a quick fight, shall we? Knock this fucker down. When he's on the ground, we'll burn his cocky ass. We just need him to get down, to drop his head. Once he drops his head, oh Christ, oh Christ. We just need him to drop that head, we just need to keep battering him he drops his head. And when he does, you can burn every other part of him. I'm gonna actually try and burn his head now. I don't think it'll have any effect. No. So we've got to keep knocking him until he actually drops eventually. such a weird ass having to fight him like this. I think we've got him down. We've got him dropped. I don't know. That was the quickest boss fight ever. Mainly because we had our boost mode on. Okay, he's down now. In this form, we've got to burn his carcass. Otherwise, he's won this. There. We're going to burn that thing. Get ass giant flower. Jeez. Yeah, we're burning it. Just do rapid fire. Run up that thing. Oh, crap. Right, get around those. God damn. Just keep burning it. Right, we're past that now. Burn this fucking ass. Jeez. Keep coming. Rapid fire. That's why we've got you boosted. Just burn him. Just burn him. We're just going to keep doing this until we've got a vic Oh, I'm going to get that shield. I'm actually going to activate shield. I'll get the folk for the shield down. Let's get that shield folk up because this thing is obviously going to keep dropping him on us. Get it there. We'll, we'll put the uh, burgers here just, just in case we have to use him. But I don't think we're going to have to use him that much. Oh, we've done it, we've done it. We've got him down to this thing. One. Two. This will be a long fight, I feel. Come on. We've got to do this. We've got to do this. Keep watching, guys. We've got to do this. This thing is a giant. We are facing a monolith. We've got to keep fighting. Come on. Ugh. Just break out of song and dance. This is going to take a little while. We've got to do this. We can't, can't be making any mistakes. We break three. So we're going to keep this fight going. We're going to win this. For the brother land. For Keats. For Ellen. For the Irish people who seem to be in the folklore. For the dead who we're trying to give the living a second chance. We've got to own this thing before those fires go out. Before we lose our chance to get the boss out of this battle scene. Just keep watching. He'll drop. He's gonna go into a. He's gonna go into one of those stupid things. We're not. This is too close for counting. We've gotta keep keep fighting. 
keep fighting. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Now, we take the boss. That, my friends, that is how we fight a boss battle. My god. You can sink back into the waterlands, my friend. We've just beat a folklore. One step closer to facing the folklore. Fuck yeah. I mean, folk here. Mm. The fucking door. How chic. It's a mirror. And we're back in the pub. Is this the pub? Are you shitting me? Oh, nice nap. Huh? Oh no. Get lost, chap. I'm busy. Uh, give me a chance, and I may even write you up in the magazine. Blimey! There are two things that I'm wondering about. One, what's the village pub doing here? And two, can I really meet the dead? Oh, this. It's all borrowed imaginary. If you must meet the dead, might as well do it in comfort. So just shut up and say thanks. Looks like the dead woman Regina has dropped in. See the rest for yourself. Yes, we're in the middle of a talk. Middle of the damn pub. Why are we in a pub? Because they're recycling backgrounds. That's why. The bartender's not even here. Come on, people. Come on. Can I drink that booze? Is that booze there for a reason? I just... Nope. No, we can't drink the booze. Okay, we'll talk to Regina. Looks like we can talk today. Did you tell anyone you called Ellen to the cliff? No. So I still don't know who the mysterious caller was. Well, never mind that. This is a photo of your family, isn't it? Oh! Ronaldo! Hervey! Suzette was still in my womb at this time. Something happened after this. Something that tore apart your family. What was it? That's right. My husband told me to leave town to protect Suzette, so I left. But in the end, I was unable to do anything for her. Is there anything you would like me to tell her for you? Tell her I just want her to live her life and be happy. You don't seem the type to abandon your family. What happened that changed you? Church, my son, Hervey. What happened at the church? Oh Lord, have mercy! What? Oh crap. No. The fuck? The fuck? What the? This is her true form, hey? That's right. It's called a memosphere. A folk that feeds on the memories of the dead. What wretched little rats. But should come in handy. Who else can show you secrets of the dead? Impossible. Shit. The fuck. No, Herv! Ronaldo, little witch. <laughs> Revenge is near. Uh, it sounds like a witch hunt might be behind this killing. What did you say? Ryan. Are you certain? It's the truth. That night, at the church. 
No, it can't be. Herve. First Herve and now Ronaldo. It's her. She did it! My beloved daughter, Ellen. Forgive me for being absent from your life for 17 years. I await you on November 2nd at Samain on the cliff on the sea. <laughs> Finally! Revenge! Herve is her son. Ronaldo is her husband. 17 years ago, she lost them both. What happened at the church 17 years ago? And how does Elm fit into all of this? This village has quite a past. Who? Oh. That one boss, anyway. Did you discover anything useful? So the dead are dead. They don't live on, so to speak, in the Neverworld, do they? Precisely. Because they are dead, they do not think as humans do. Picture them as but embers of memories. If you still seek out the dead, another Neverworld door may open. You mean there are more realms? As many as stars in the sky. If you do seek out more dead, another Neverworld door should open. All you have to do is find another memento of the dead. And so I bid you adieu, until we meet, until we meet next time. Yeah, can't wait. I'd better go to see Suzette. No, we don't. We don't even get. I'm gonna try and get into that Lord's house. Try it now. So we couldn't go in. I can go in. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think the Lord's thing says you can only enter if it's on the mission or someone living. So Suzette will probably tell us to go and meet her dead nan or whatever. So we'll go see her then. Go see the barkeep while we're down here. Through the oblivion door. Right. We can't go to the lighthouse just yet, it appears. Can't go to the... Uh, Gatekeeper's house is locked. Instead, mm. we'll go down here. We're quite close now, I think, to finishing chapter one. We're going to keep going, even though I've done the boss fight here. Suzette's house was. Down here. Yeah. We're on the right track. Might be able to plod it along until we reach the end of this. So. I've uncovered more information. Something very traumatic happened to your parents at church 17 years ago. It seems it may have something to do with the boy in the photo. Herve. Soon afterwards, your father, Ronaldo, died. I still haven't found out what exactly happened. But whatever it was, it seems to be the reason why your mother changed. Whether or not you choose to believe me is up to you. Someone else was nosing around too. I know why my mother hates me. She left town by herself 17 years ago because she was pregnant with me. My father, who she left behind, died. Deep down, my mother always blamed me for what happened. So that's the scoop, huh? Looks like someone beat me to the story. But I want to know more about what happened to my family. I'm also curious to learn what could have possibly changed a family so... Hmm? Oh, Regine wanted me to tell you something. She says she wants you to live your life and be happy. Huh? What, nothing else?
Or what? Deep down, my mother blamed me for what happened. I want to know what happened to my family 17 years ago. There's still more. There's still more. Do we go to the church? Do we go to the lighthouse? So, Ellen looked into what happened 17 years ago. Perhaps in the Neverworld. Ellen's just one step ahead of me, eh? We'll catch up to that little saucy piece. Mm -hmm. Mm, what the... Oh crap. Huh? Mm -hmm. Nothing there? Classic moment when he's gonna get hit on the head. Oh wow! Spooked by shadows. Our hero fidgeted at bumps in the night. <laughs> I'm like a child, scared of the dark. Next thing you know, I'll be seeing ghosts. What I should be seeing is a doctor. I could be going mad. I feel like that's the end of chapter one. The end of chapter one! We've got through it, people! We've got through... Wait, wait, I, don't, I don't know for certain. We'll, 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 we'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. We don't know for certain. We've got through chapter one. See you next time, my people. Next week.